Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2011 Forest River Flagstaff travel trailer. I'm going to walk through how to install the soft start for RV and camper air conditioners. What would be some of the reasons why we would want to put a soft start on our air conditioner? Well, let's say we're hooked in a shore power, or maybe we're not, we don't have shore power and we want to use a generator. What an air conditioner does when it starts up, if we don't have anything to help it, is it kind of bogs down and then picks up because it's drawing a lot of power in order to get it running up to running to where it's actually blowing enough cold air. It's going to do the same thing with a generator. Adding this on is going to allow the air conditioner to, to start much softer. What it's basically going to do is going to store power so that when you turn it on, it's going to kick on right away. It's going to start blowing cold air. We don't have that bog down or that wait time for it to get glowing. Now, another instance. Let's say we have two air conditioners on the top of our camper RV, but we only have 30 amp service. Typically, if you can only hook into 30 amp service, you can only run one air conditioner. However, adding one of these to one of the air conditioners, because it's going to allow it to start much easier, will allow you to hook into 30 amp service and run both air conditioners. So what we're going to do before we install the soft start is we're going to get a couple of readings for you so that you can tell a difference from before it was installed to after it's installed. We have a meter here and what we did is we took an extension cord and we pulled out the power wire to it. We have it hooked to our main wire going into our camper. We're going to test it coming straight out of the wall and what we're looking for is to get a reading of what we're pulling out of the wall directly. So without our AC running we're at around 1.5. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in, we're going to turn the air conditioner on and off about three times. And it's going to go quick, but we're going to see this is going to spike up. And what we want is we want to try to find the highest reading. When we find the highest reading, that is going to tell us how much our air conditioner is using or pulling to start. Now that we've got it installed, we're going to go ahead and do the same test that we did before to see if we get any changes. Now, after we put the soft start in place, tested it out, you can see significant difference between the first test we did and the second one with the soft start in place. First test, tested it out at about 15. Second test, with the start or the soft start, tested it at about 9. So we have quite a bit of a difference there. Air conditioner is not going to run quite as hard or it's not going to use as much energy to get started and running. For those of you that have been around campers and RVs, know when you turn on the air conditioner, the compressor kicks on and it kind of shakes the whole camper. Well, and the compressor is kind of noisy. For those of you that are new to it, the reason it does that is because the compressor needs so much energy in order to start the air conditioner. When it does that, again, shakes the camper, creates a lot of noise. What happens when we're sleeping at night? Middle of the night, air conditioner kicks on, compressor, shakes the camper, creates a lot of noise, waking up everybody in the camper. Adding the soft start, is not only going to reduce the noise that the compressor is creating, but it's also going to eliminate the camper shaking. Now, how does the soft start actually do that? Well, the soft start actually is going to store power so that when our compressor kicks on, it's going to give it kind of a boost. So the compressor is not going to need as much to get the air conditioner started. You can see we didn't have that big noise coming from our compressor to get our air conditioner up and running. And we have cold air. Now, a couple of things that I want to point out. One, adding this on is also going to allow you to run air, one air conditioner off of 20 amp hookup at your house. Also, if you have an inverter, 
It's going to allow you to run up to two air conditioners. As far as the installation process, pretty straightforward. It's going to come with all the necessary hardware. The main unit itself is very lightweight, has five wires that you basically have to hook up. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go ahead and get it installed. So your installation, we need to come up on the roof. We need to remove our air conditioner shroud or cover. Usually just four screws or four bolts. Pop that off. And you don't necessarily have to, but if you remove this front panel here, uh, it's going to make it a little bit easier to get to the wires. I went ahead and just took the screws off. They just run along the side. You might have two in the back here. We're going to take this and we're just going to rotate it forward because our wires we're going to be working with are right over in this corner. On the side here, you're going to find a panel. Remove that panel and what you're looking for is you're looking for this schematic. This bottom corner, there's going to be a number. You want to notate that number and this is going to be the number that you're going to uh, use for your specific air conditioner for the wiring schematics because there are so many different models uh, that wire different ways. You want to make sure you're wiring it the correct way for yours. Next we need to determine where we're going to mount our soft start. Our wires have to come in through this grommet into this area right here. We're going to mount it down in here, but we want to make sure we're staying away from our fan so when our fan runs, it doesn't damage it. And also, when we route our wires, our fan doesn't suck our wires into uh, in there and damage them. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it right underneath it here, right on the bottom side. We'll go ahead and route the wires under first. I didn't mention it, you want to make sure you don't have any power on. And this will give me plenty of room. I can get my wires in and I can take these extras and zip time right to this factory wiring here. On the bottom of it, we're actually going to have some tape. We'll go ahead and use the tape to hold it in place while we put our hardware in to hold it down. Lined up. Your kit is gonna come with these, uh, this hardware to mount your soft start with. Uh, these are a little bit long since I'm mounting it on the floor instead of on the wall somewhere. These are a little bit long and I don't want them to go all the way through into the roof membrane, so I'm going to switch them out and use some small cell tappers. Completely up to you uh, how you put it on yours, but I'm going to use these. We'll be able to take these and we'll just drive them right down into the aluminum housing around the air conditioner. Next, we need to get all our wires inside. If you have some sealant here, sometimes you can peel it back, sometimes it's more of like a rubber. We need to take each one of our wires and try and get them inside. Once we get all of our wires in, I'm going to go ahead and get them zip tied out here. That way we know exactly how much we're going to have to work with inside. Next, we need to come to our start capacitor, which is this round one. We're going to follow the white wire that comes from our compressor. It's the white wire from here in and where it connects onto our start capacitor or run capacitor, we're going to pull it off. This wire is going to get connected to the blue wire coming from our soft start. We're going to cut this end off. We'll strip back both ends both wires
Go ahead and make this one the same length. We're going to put them together. We're going to put on one of these guys. Next, we're going to use this terminal here. We need our black wire coming from our soft start. We're going to add them together. We're going to take that in. We're going to connect it at the same terminal where we just remove the white wire. Our yellow wire from our soft start. We're going to put a spade connector on it, female spade connector. We need to find the red wire that goes to our compressor, which is this one here. We're going to follow it down, and where it connects to our run capacitor, which is right here, we're going to take our yellow wire, and we're going to put it on the terminal right next to it. When you print out your schematics or your wiring diagram for your specific AC unit, it's going to have an A and B side. The B side is going to have a start relay, A side does not. Our system here does not have that start relay. B side does have the start relay and the only difference between the two is how you connect the brown or red wire. On our soft start, we have two wires left. We have a red wire and a brown wire. We need to locate the black wire coming from our compressor where it goes to purple. We're going to go back on our black wire about four inches. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to take this end, we're going to strip it back. And we're going to attach our brown wire to it. We're going to take the other end of our black wire that goes through the purple wire. We're going to strip it back. We're going to connect it to the red wire from our soft start. Once we got it all connected, we can go ahead and test it out make sure everything is working correctly. I went ahead and installed this cover up here on front, but I'm not gonna install my shroud yet because on the main box, there's indicator lights that'll tell you what the unit is doing. And we wanna make sure that we are able to watch those as we're going through the test modes on our air conditioner. So there are gonna be three indicator lights. You're gonna have a run, a start, and a self-start. Ultimately, what we want is when our air conditioner is running, once it's gone through all the testing, is the run, stays green. Now the red start and the red self test could be red for up to three minutes. If the light does not change to the green run after four minutes the unit needs to be shut down. So we're going to turn it to fan high. We're going to let that run for one minute. We're going to turn our AC unit to auto cool down to 55 degrees. This is where we want to watch our lights to make sure that after three minutes, the light turns green for the run signal. Now that we've tested everything out, we know it's working correctly, we can go ahead and put our AC shroud back in place and we're ready to go. It's going to do it for a look at and installation on the soft start for a Coleman Mach air conditioner on a 2011 Forest River Flagstaff travel trailer.